Once a week, Lisa Goldberg and Natanya Eskin will join up with friends to share a great recipe. Yeah, they call it the Monday Morning Cooking Club, and Natanya and Lisa join us now on Tuesday. <laughs> yes, because you were busy yesterday at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you both. Just, just elaborate on how it came about. Uh, we came about eight years ago to create a cookbook for charity, and then it became... Well, once a week, Lisa Goldberg and Natanya Eskin will join up with friends to share a great recipe. Yeah, they call it the Monday Morning Cooking Club, and Natanya and Lisa join us now on Tuesday. <laughs> yes, because you were busy yesterday at the club. Absolutely. That's right. Lovely to see you both. Just, just elaborate on how it came about. Uh, we came about eight years ago to create a cookbook for charity, and then it became a, a project in preserving recipes. I think that's where we are now. Okay, and this is one of the recipes right here. Natanya, tell us about the background to what you're going to make today. Okay, well, today we've got Kranzkuchen. <laughs> that's how you pronounce Kranz it. Kranzkuchen. That's, that's it. right. And what it actually is, it's a scone like dough yep. that's been rolled and filled with mixed. Um, dried fruit and apricot jam. Okay, well do you want to get started on yes, this? Yes, I will. Um, because the, the, the lovely story about this is this was actually this. from an 80 year old woman who had never written down the recipe. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt, oh, you keep going. Yeah, go. um, yeah. and, and you then tested the recipe until you could work out what a handfuls and a pinches and a bit of this, bit of that actually meant. That's, That's exactly right. right. We had to. We went to. So this is Dinky's Crowns Cooking, and Dinky is a gorgeous lady who came from South Africa. She's now living in Sydney. So Dinky's Crowns Cooking is legendary in her community in South Africa, and now in Sydney. So we went to her kitchen twice and stood with her while she did her pinch and her teacup and measured and recorded and wrote it down. And now it's in the book, and we're so excited that the whole world can now have it. There must be um, a, a great sense of, of pride in getting a recipe published like this. Uh, are you finding that you're inundated with people wanting to, to share family recipes? Yes, I get stopped in the supermarket all the time now <laughs> um, with people telling me about their, their grandmother's you know, famous this and their auntie's famous that. Everyone's got one, haven't um, they? And it's wonderful because what it's done is it's inspired people to go back into their families and find the wonderful heirloom recipes that their grandmothers used to make. Mm. That are on a battered piece of paper with all the stains. Right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what have we done so far? We've got um, Okay, so flour. into two cups of flour, one and a half plain and a half self-raising, I've put um, two teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. I've chopped into that 60 grams of softened butter. Yep. And now we're going to add one cup of cream with one egg beaten into it, into that mixture. And then I'm going to use a knife to cut through that and just bring that dough together. The knife stops you from overworking it. Right, okay. And how long would you need to keep mixing that and, and cutting It'll be through it? A few just minutes. Just a few minutes. It's yeah. really Which quick. We probably don't have. Do you have some pre prepared dough? Or? I think we can do it really quickly though. There I think we if go. we. We'll just be super fast. We'll okay. do this. Oh, you've got some there. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it will end up looking like. This is like. exactly what it'll end up And if you do it really quickly, I can show you that it actually oh. takes a second. It's a really Surely quick so. and easy thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good With thing um, for entertaining. Seriously, if you've got people coming over in a couple of hours, just get it in the oven and do it. So you put your dough out, and it doesn't even need to be fully formed at this stage okay. because yeah. we can just bring it together mm -hmm. really quickly, just like that. And then it's a matter of rolling it out, well-floured rolling pin. Mm -hmm. yeah. And would you have this just as like a morning tea or would you make it dessert and put it with ice cream and cream or...? Either one. Either way. Morning tea, you'll see it this morning. It'll go down really well. Probably Any, last after yes, dinner. afternoon Any tea, minutes. after yeah. dinner. Um, served warm, straight out okay. of the oven. Beautiful. Okay. Going to just so spread it on. Jam. And this is made by Natanya's mum, this jam. Yeah. Oh, we love that. Yeah. 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 This is homemade <laughs> jam. It will be in the next one. Right. So we spread it out as thinly or as thickly as you like. It's quite sweet with all the sultanas and, and everything. So imagine we're spreading it out across the whole thing. Yep. And then cinnamon sugar goes on top. We make our own. It's a tablespoon of cinnamon to a cup of sugar. Okay. And it keeps for ages in the pantry. Spread right to the edges when you've got time. All right. So let's pretend it's spread beautifully. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Okay. And then we're going to be very happy with you. <laughs> Currants, sultanas, and raisins. raisins. Have you soaked them at all, or they're just, no. just as is? Just as is. And then it's just a matter of rolling it up. 
That was a map of Australia before you came across was. then, Lisa. I couldn't have... Poor Tassie was left off again. No. <laughs> oh, there it is, just there. Okay, and then so on, that's it. Onto a tray Literally. and into the oven. Yeah, and then onto a tray. But before you do that, you need to um, make some cuts in the outside so that it doesn't... Oh, it is going to crack anyway, so don't worry this about the cracking. over here. So we've just done five or six of these around the outside. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to have to have a taste. So you put that in the oven for how long and at what temperature? 180 for 45. Before you taste it, I'm just going to ice it very quickly oh. with half a lemon and a cup of icing sugar. Oh, simple as that. Do you put yeah. rind in as well? No, you, you could though. You could. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Oh, and if it's, if it's, well, I'd like a bit of lemon in my, <laughs> in my lemon stuff, Gigi. If it's too thick, you just need to add a little bit of water. Okay, now we need to find a knife because we have There's got to go, sadly. But not um, before. The book looks have a taste. absolutely beautiful. That's available now, is it? Yes, it's yeah. available. And, and it, part of the proceeds of that go to... All of our profits go to charity. Oh, well, what about that? That's wonderful. That's well done. Great. Thank yeah. you. Such a lovely concept. I and love it. We'll Pro make sure that we put um, all the details on our Facebook page. Come on in, Fordo. Have a taste. You there, Fordo? Yeah. Come on. Don't lurk why are you? Why are you looking at me? Just come staring at the food. You are hanging Lovingly. around. You need mm. to cut a much thicker slice. Mm. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yep. Beautiful with a cup of tea. It tastes yeah, healthy right as well. Oh, mm. absolutely. Is awesome. It? It's fruit. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Preserving those really Listen, lovely old Tanya. recipes. Thank you so well much. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.